Welcome back to our CNC tutorial series. Today we're diving into the G-Codes G54 to G59. These codes help us set different work offsets, enabling multiple workspaces on a single machine. Let's get started. Before we talk about the specific G-Codes, let's clarify what work offsets are. In CNC machining, the zero or home point refers to the origin of the machine or the part we are working on. However, sometimes we may want to establish multiple zeros or origins. These are what we call work offsets. Work offsets allow us to create multiple virtual workspaces within the machine's physical workspace. This is particularly useful for production runs of different parts or when the same part requires different setups. Now, on to the G-codes. G54 to G59 are used to select different work offsets. Each code corresponds to a specific offset, with G54 as the first, G55 as the second, and so on, up to G59. Let's say you're using a CNC mill and you've set up two different vices. You could use G54 for the first vice and G55 for the second. Once these offsets are established, the machine will remember them until they are reset. To use a work offset, it must first be defined. This is typically done by jogging the machine to the desired zero position, then saving that position as a work offset. After that, you simply call the corresponding G code whenever you want to use that offset. For instance, if you want to switch to the work offset defined for the second vice, you'd include G55 in your program. Using work offsets effectively can dramatically increase the flexibility and productivity of your CNC operations. Remember, G54 to G59 give us the power to define up to six different workspaces. Make good use of them. That's it for our exploration of G54 to G59. In our next episode, we'll continue to unravel the intricacies of G-codes. Until then, happy machining.